Bonjour mes amis and welcome to this in... I don't know why I'm speaking in a French accent. Welcome to my 18 week... Oh, welcome to my 19 week bump date. It's amazing once you're done with a week you like forget it ever happened. So. And how to do basic math because today I'm 20 weeks and yesterday I was... 19 weeks. I'm just kidding, I know how to do math. So this was a pretty exciting week. Uh, I wouldn't say there were any like new real symptoms or um, anything really new going on with the baby, but we had our anatomy scan, which was super exciting. And um, you can tell exactly how excited we were by the fact that I vlogged the entire day, like just because I was that excited and I wanted you to be as excited as, as me. So um, you can check that out. Where is the video gonna go? I'm here! Check it out! Yeah! So the anatomy scan went really well. Um, it looks like baby is totally on the mark for um, all of the measurements. Everything looks perfect. And it's a... we don't know. We have no idea if it's a boy or a girl. Uh, well, we have some... I don't know. I have no idea. So our last ultrasound was at eight weeks. So. You know, we haven't really had any photos to analyze for skull fairy because I know that that is like super scientific, um, but it's at least something to do while you're waiting. And so we were kind of just thinking, oh, do you feel like it's a boy? Do you feel like it's a girl? What are the old wives sales? Blah, blah, blah. But now that we have some um, pictures from the sonogram, all I'm doing is like looking at other people's sonograms, whether it's a boy or a girl, and trying to like figure out what the shape of this baby skull is. The picture that they like printed out and kind of like put on a little paper frame for us, um, the baby skull looks really square, which would make it a boy. But then on the other picture, it looks way more rounded, so I have no idea. I'm just gonna wait it out. Just kidding, I'm gonna keep asking everyone I meet um, whether they think the sonogram picture looks like a boy or a girl, so. The baby weighs um, 11 ounces, which I feel like is a lot. I don't know. The bump told me that the baby should weigh like eight and a half ounces, so we've got a chunker on our hands. Not surprised, not really surprised. Um, this way the baby is the size of a bonono. I just took a picture, so it's this exact size, according to the bump. Um, so last week it was a little bit smaller than that. I don't know. It was the size of a coconut. <gasps> I haven't used the coconut yet. 19 weeks. That's the size of the baby. Also, Baby is now covered in a fine fur, like not chinchilla. <laughs> I have a chinchilla, it's so sad. So cute. It was with Whitman's grandma. It's covered in lanugo, which is baby fur. Keeps him warm, I guess, since he doesn't have much fat on him. It's the size of the baby. So, um, other than the anatomy scan, I didn't really have any symptoms that really changed other than the fact that I'm enormous, I am humongous, and it's already making movement um, more difficult, which it's kind of early for that, so lots of things to look forward to. Um, I was doing like a frantic shoot in the studio last week, and I noticed that when I like squat down to you know get on level with the computer. Um, that I'm using as the monitor. The baby hates that, I guess, and like violently kicks, and so I have to like move. And then I end up sitting on my butt on the floor, and then I'm home alone, you know, because like my husband's not home yet, and I have to be by the natural light, and there's no like safety rails there. So getting up is is really hard. Like I need I need a hand. I can't, you know, it's. That's weird. That's that's already we're having standing up and down issues. Um, it's it's I've noticed I even walk differently. Like I actually kind of I wouldn't say waddle, but it's like I don't know. I think I'm just getting used to it, and I think that maybe in a couple weeks I'll um, be a little more normal. So fingers crossed there. Um, Baby moves pretty frequently. Um, I feel him or her several times a day. This little bugger though. Mm. 
So I've been trying to get a really good shot of the baby kicking from the outside so you can see it, you know, just through the skin. And little baby will be kicking and I can see it. Like I, I'm looking at it and I make sure that, he, you know, it's doing it um, pretty frequently so that I can pull out my camera. And every single time, every single time, every single time, the baby stops as soon as I turn the camera on. Like every time. He could be kicking like 20 times. You know, just in a row, and then I turn the camera on and he's done. That's it. So, he's already a little stinker. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but um, we put the crib together. I think that was last weekend, but um, we put the crib together. We got the Baby Little Hudson, and we love it. It looks awesome. Um, it comes with the toddler conversion, so that's really cool. You know, it saves you, like with Pottery Barn. The crib itself, you know, whatever, pretty affordable, but then you have to buy the toddler conversion, it's like $250, so I don't know, I was happy with the fact that it came with it. Um, it's super solid, it just looks and feels great, and we're really excited that we chose that. Um, so it's sitting in the nursery right now. So I think um, my total weight gain since the beginning of the pregnancy has been 2.6 pounds as of the end of 19 weeks. Um, my doctor is still okay with that. You know, she said as long as I gain 20, then I'll be okay. And um, I've noticed that my appetite is coming in fiercely. Like I still can't eat a ton at any one time, but there will just be moments where I'm like, I have to eat, I have to eat all the things. And I, I have to, I mean, I like, I will L you in the face if you're in my way. Um, so I feel like that's only gonna get stronger and the weight gain will be no problem at all. Other than that, it's been a pretty uneventful week. Um, I am... Oh my goodness. And I was worried for a while that I wasn't showing. I was like, oh, I wanna have a belly. Like, I don't look pregnant. No one knows I'm pregnant, I just look fat. And so I would like, walk around holding my bloat, you know, just so people didn't think I was fat. Like I care, you know, what the deli guy at Kroger thinks. I apparently do, I apparently care a lot. So I would like walk around holding my bloat all the time. But now I am super pregnant looking, so I don't have to hold anything. I just like walk around and expect people to be nice to me. And this woman cut in line it in front of me yesterday at the self checkout and I was like, Good. So um, we went to a wedding this weekend uh, on Saturday and um, I finally found a dress that would work with my humongo belly um, without having to go to mother or maternity and spend like $400 on a formal dress that I will wear for three hours my entire pregnancy. Um, so I think it turned out really well. I wore one of those transformer dresses so I think I could wear that till nine months. It's so stretchy, you know, and just forgiving. But anyway, so we were at the wedding and man, like, before the wedding even started, I was like doing like this to breathe. <sighs> you know, to get like a full breath. And I went to the doctor and told her that this was happening because I knew it was pretty common. And she said, um, you know, that it can just, like everything has been pushed up because the baby's taking up space now. Um, well, I mean, the baby's always taking up a little bit of space, but he's taking up a lot more space now. Um, so she said, just lay on your left side whenever that's happening, and it should relieve some of it. Um, but I can't just go, like, lie down on my left side in the middle of a wedding. So I was just breathing, like, I don't know. I looked it totally insane, I'm sure. And then, I mean, I don't know. I was kind of been feeling sick anyway, but I was just done. Just done. Like, I could not hang at all. And it was an early wedding, like this was not, it started at like four o'clock and I was just, I don't know, couldn't do it. Not handle it. My like entire body gets tired very quickly. You know, standing up in heels for a couple hours anyway, it's like that pushes the belly out and then the belly being pushed out is already, you know, like aching to meet the earth thanks to gravity and gives you that backache anyway. So with the heels, that's my number one pregnancy symptom this week. Being old and boring. And then on Sunday, we plan to go to Music Fest as well, but 
We ended up staying home. We went out to dinner to celebrate the um, successful, I don't know, the results of the anatomy scan. And um, then we made a batch of Rice Krispie Treats, chocolate mousse, and watched Game of Thrones. And it was very satisfying. So it's pregnancy for you. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe everyone else, everyone else is like running marathons and stuff like that. But not me. Not me. So at the end of this week, we're going to another wedding. Um, it's my very first Mother's Day. I'm super excited. Um, my husband has planned. I don't know. He's keeping it a surprise. He keeps everything a surprise, and he's definitely keeping this a surprise. Um, so we'll be in New Orleans because the next day. Um, the day after Mother's Day, we're leaving for our baby moon cruise. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm really hoping that my appetite is like voracious by then. It's partly why we picked a cruise. You know, I didn't want to have to like plan stuff to do every day and like walk around all the time. And I want to be able to just like sit on the butt, look at the water, and eat a crap ton of food. And that is what I plan to do on the cruise. And since I'm super old and boring anyway, I'm just going to play slot machines. Like hours on it. Like penny slots, like bingo. Yeah. That's it. Um, come back next week. Thumbs up if you don't hate this video and please subscribe because it makes me really happy. I might cry if you don't. I'm pregnant. Ugh.